calm is contagious. It's actually one of the interesting things that the Navy SEALs talk about and train their leaders is that even in the chaos of battle and the, the fog of war and all of, all of that, the primary thing is that calm is contagious. If the leader can stay calm, it permeates through the entire organization. So I wanted to, to chat about that for a little bit. Welcome to my journey of self-discovery, life balance, career success, and business creation. This podcast works to answer the question of how successful professionals like us stop drifting and get focused on keeping our careers and businesses growing rapidly while having a full, balanced, and vibrant life that we absolutely love, what we call the Third Power Life. And this is the Third Power Life Podcast. So one of the things that, you know, I've just been through in my organization at work, you know, as part of the reality of corporate America is there are reorganizations, people, you know, teams get rearranged and move so that it's, you know, strategically important. And one of the, the big things that I find is when that happens, you know, people get rightfully a little bit concerned and, you know, how does this affect me? Or are there going to be layoffs or there, you know, so there's a lot of uncertainty that happens around that kind of thing. And my own experience with that is being calm and saying, you know, here's what's going on, you know, and it's very important if you're in that kind of organization that you know what is actually happening what is actually going to be the the impact for the people that you're working with and you'll be able to explain that but the primary thing is really to be calm to to have that confidence of here's what's going to happen here's the impact that it's going to cause here's you know what we see happening in our organization and to present that calm. I, I actually, it's, it's funny when I announced, did the announcement of the reorganization to my, to my organization, to my team. And I actually had somebody goes, Dan, you're, you're so good at making people feel calm and feel okay with what's happening. And I thought, you know, that, that was such a huge compliment for me. And just that, you know, I'm able to present you know, yes, it's change. Yes, it's scary sometimes, but the, at the end of the day, it's okay. We're going to be all right. And so, you know, I want you to look at one, your own life. And when change happens, when things are happening, you know, look at what's the worst case scenario, what's the best case scenario, and kind of come up with, here's what I feel about that. And then project calm that even in the worst case scenario you're going to be okay and you know and it's probably not going to be the best case scenario but it's definitely not going to be the worst so find that medium that middle ground and be calm in what is going on in your life and then project that to the people around you so so just know that that calm is contagious when when there's chaos going on around, whether it's at home, whether it's at work, whether it's in business, know that being confident, being calm and being able to project that makes a huge difference to everyone around you and to you as well. So, again, you know, in chaos, try to stay calm. And that's how we live our lives to the third power. Until tomorrow. I'm glad you enjoyed this podcast. Please let us know what impacted you in today's episode. You can join our Discord or Facebook community to connect with like-minded people that want a real Third Power Life. You can go to thirdpowerlife.com or look in the show notes for links. And remember, hit that like, subscribe, and rate button for the Third Power Life podcast. Until next time.